Brooks beef here on garlic bread. It's going to have provolone, melted provolone on it, and some mayo-based, not vinegar-based coleslaw on it as well. And it's going to be uh, garlic bread, as I mentioned. But we haven't decided exactly what type of bread to put the sandwich on because it has to be perfect. Did you say anything about horseradish? Oh, yeah, that's right. A little horseradish as well. Yeah, it's Tom Keller said that. Yeah, Tom Keller, probably the best chef and most successful chef in America right yeah, now. French Tom laundry Keller. out in you know, Napa. Uh, yeah, him. Uh, so a little yeah. horseradish in that here in New York. coleslaw. Yeah. Uh, that's what's going to be the sandwich. And a uh, bread man called up and said, hey, my name's Jim Serpico. I'm a bread man, and I've got all this bread you can taste. I'll bring it in so you can decide exactly what type of bread this Boomer and Geo Hero is going to be on. And he brought like a million types of bread. A million. I saw like cranberries and some he, of that No, bread no, that's there. prosciutto. There's it's not cranberries in there. there. It's prosciutto. Yeah, but like, we're not doing that. But he, that's his own give concoction. Me that right now, I mean, that but we, delicious. but we do have. It, I, I broke it down to eight different types of bread. I mean, he brought in how much bread did he bring in? Well, he had, he had a cart that he wheeled in here with loaded with breads. Now, did you ask Craig <laughs> if if he would like us to leave some bread for the afternoon? We're going to have to. We I got no choice. Either that, or we're all taking home like a, a you know, I would say. Uh, I would least. say at least 30 pieces of bread each. <laughs> yeah, probably. At this juncture, I would say that we'll be leaving the bread for the afternoon. Yeah, guys. like McGonagall likes bread. He Evan does. likes bread. And I know Craig likes bread. Yeah, Tommy, so, Tommy loves bread. So this guy, Jim Serpico, was a partner with Dennis Leary for 25 years and also rep Jim Brewer. And then got into this bread manufacturer. At least wow. that's what he told me out there. Interesting. So he was an agent for comedians? I think he was a, I think he was a producer with Dennis Leary for like 24, 25 years. Wow. And then also worked with Jim Brewer. At least, again, this, these are his words. That's well, unbelievable. I believe there's no reason. And then he got into uh, all this bread making uh, and because it, it just exploded, according to him, on Instagram. Is This is him right here. Yeah, Jim Serpico, a television producer. He is now the bread man. How the hell? He's got a Wikipedia page. Yeah. What about this? A TV show about bread. The bread man. Wow. So he's all of a sudden became a bread man. I got the perfect guy to to be his uh, spokesperson. Man, oh man, that is that is tremendous. I'm um, looking at the executive producer of this and that and everything else. He's on uh, Twitter over here. This Jim Sir. I just thought he was a bread man his whole life. He was not. He made the transition. From the TV industry into bread. Yeah. Which so, is an unusual one. I try to get to know our guests, go a little deeper, just yeah. to get a better understanding of their backgrounds, where they sure. come from. Yeah. I wonder if he's any relation to Serpico the Cop. Serpico the Cop? Yeah. I will have to ask him that as well. You know, the interesting thing, you know, as far as the spokesperson is concerned, is, you know, the guy is perfect because he's anti Putin. Or Temi Panarin. Oh, Panarin. The bread man. The the real bread bread man. man. So yes. we got two bread men and we can put them together. That would be absolutely perfect. I saw Putin at a press conference yesterday. <clears throat> had a nice long press conference. They yeah. were airing it everywhere. Yeah. I tried so, to sort of our president. Had a lot of nice uh, Putin press conference. Yeah. You think people see Serpico today on CBS Sports Network and go, man, what happened, Jim? You think? Yeah, I was just looking at his Instagram. He's. <laughs> Hello. Hey. He's sitting down with like various famous people. I was yeah. like, oh, now he's the now he's now he's baking prosciutto into loaves of bread. Yeah. And now Al is telling him where to put the bread. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm fascinated by this now. I had no idea. Yep. I wonder if I he, thought you would be. I mean, did he le- oh, I'll ask him all these questions when he comes in here. All right, so a former television producer who worked with Dennis Leary and Jim Brewer, who has baked us bread this morning. I know uh, Ken Burns is uh, doing a thing with muffins. <laughs> is, is he? <laughs> he's a muffin. It's amazing. He's a Burns muffin, is a muffin maker. He's a, he's a muffin guy. He's, he's a muffin guy, guy now. Uh, <laughs> Ken Burns, the muffin man. We'll have Jim in here. Hopefully, he's got a good sense of humor with this, or maybe he's just packing up. He's spitting on all the bread right now. He's gonna have a. He's, he's gonna, licking all that semolina right now. <laughs> screw with us. He's gonna have a knife in his hand. <laughs> he is. You're not kidding about that. Uh, all right, uh, Boomer and Geo on the fan, CBS Sports Network, and the Odyssey app. We'll get Jim in here with his bread coming up next. Boomer and Geo here. It's Boomer and Geo here. Roast beef. 
It is melted provolone cheese. It is going to be on garlic bread, the, the type of bread we are about to decide. There's going to be a coleslaw in there with horseradish sauce uh, mixed in with the coleslaw. That is going to be the hero. The bread is the the last piece. And so it's a very big It's a piece. very key piece, and it has to be garlic bread. Now, Jim Serpico is here. Now, Jim called us when we were talking about this and said, I'd like to bring some bread in for you guys to try so you can decide because you really need to taste it. Little did I know, Jim has a history in television, and you've worked with some great comedians over the years, and now you're doing that and also doing bread. Good morning, Jim, first <laughs> off. Can you tell us what the hell, uh, how'd you get here? I don't even know how it happened. At the beginning of the pandemic, we started posting pictures of our prosciutto bread. And I'm talking about me and my kids and my wife. Yeah. And people started to ask to order it. Week one, we got like 10 friends saying, let's, could we order the prosciutto bread? Week two, 20, 25. By the month and a half in, it was like 75. We're now at 700 loaves a week. Jeez. <laughs> It was, it was. I'm taking that wow. low phone, by the way. I'm staking claim wow. to the prosciutto bread. Up until about five months ago, it was all out of my house. I had a partner find somebody, and I, I found this great guy, Joe DeFioro from uh, Sicily. He's got a company called Monreal Bread Company in Long Island. They're helping us produce this bread because we can't handle it ourselves. Wow. Um, I love that. What is it? Side hustle? Is that the side name hustle of your bread? Yeah. I love it. Yeah. It's great. Our thing is we don't have a storefront, we're a virtual bakery, and we take care of delivering to homes and doing the farmer's markets, and Monreal does all the wholesale. They do supermarkets, delis, and wow. restaurants. That's great. And you've made all this bread that's in front of us today. This is all your bread. The team has made it. Uh, this stuff was made at Monreal overnight at 2 in the morning. Oh, wow. Awesome. All right, so how many different types of bread do you have? Uh, we brought about nine different types on this tray right now. We have seven. Okay. Um, we cut it so it would be easier. Yeah. But I brought some full loaves in here, too, because I think Part of this, besides the taste, is the aesthetic. Sure, exactly. 100%. Right? So that's, you're right That's about going to that. be pretty important. Some of the doughs are similar. They're made in different sizes. Um, but I thought it would be good to look at it as well. All, All right, right, let's start with the taste, taste test first. What's first? Okay, first up, I know, Boomer, you mentioned you like a baguette. Yes, I do. Um, so I think we start with a white baguette. Right. Okay. Uh, I've got three slices here that I'll pass down. All right, very good. Well, white baguette. Are you still working in TV, Jim? I, I am working in TV. All right. Thanks. I'm uh, take my piece of the white baguette. The f the maybe the Food Channel's next. What is it? Yeah. What do you? Yeah. Exactly. Thank Why you. don't you uh, combine these two things and make a bread show with Dennis Leary? Uh, <laughs> I don't know if Dennis wants to do a bread show, right. but Dennis likes a good sandwich. That'll All tell right, you. Let's see. Go. So this we bro, we did write a, a bread pilot that we're shopping, so we'll see. A bread pilot. Mm -hmm. This is good. Oh yeah. This is soft, quite fresh. It's got great <laughs> flavor. You can tell when you bite into this, if you imagine it being a garlic bread, the crunchy, the toast with the olive oil on there, it would be perfect. This would be a great vehicle. I told you, the baguette is a good, it's a good bread. It's a good solid bread. This you know, is, it, it's a really it could hold up with all the uh, mayonnaise in the, in the uh, oh man, right in the coleslaw and everything. That's else. a great way to start. That's yeah. good bread. That's, that's a that's good a bread. start. All right, next. That's a lighter Wait, bread. Hold um, on. Any negatives with the baguette? No. I can't find a negative. The only negative for me, just eye test, that loaf on that to me, just by visually looking, this? the one you're holding. Yes. Like that's the winner in my head. Do you but have the beginning. That's pretty good. Loaf? I do. Yeah. Is uh, it out? Is it here? Yeah, I could grab it. All right, we'll get, grab it afterwards. I want it to visual. You want which I, one is it? Can I, you tell Al which one it is? I want to take a look at that. I, well, it's a little maybe skinnier. It's not. When as, you guys not, taste this thorough. next one, I'll run out and grab them. Okay. Because I right. think it's going to be important with all of them. You're right. You, um, visual is a big deal. I, I think we stay on the baguette path. Hey, JG, give him that plate back. We're on the baguette path, guys. This, okay. this is an artisan baguette. It's a little hardier and a little more rustic. 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 Yeah, artisan is rustic. baguette. So, do, do, do you feel like we represent artisan and rustic? I don't know. Let me taste it first, and I'll let you know. Okay. Thank you. I don't think we have to tell Here. people right. <laughs> that it's artisan. Mm. Oh, man. <laughs> a little bit... Crunchier. Yeah. Crunchier, a little bit tougher, but the same type of flavor. Right. This one's better. You think this one's better? Yeah. I, I'm leaning towards the first one. Too soft for a sandwich. I disagree because it's going to be toasted. Good point. This one's kind of crunchy. This one's outstanding. And, 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 it's a little crunchy. You toast this, it's going to be hard. And you've got a lot of stuff on that sandwich. you got to bite through all of it. Yeah. That's why the, the softness. Of that first bread. The consistency. Yeah. You've got, it's got to all melt together. Right. This, this toasted up, I think, would be a little bit too hard. 
If you had these cut like we have them cut here, and you put like some cheese on it or some mm -hmm. spread on it, this oh. this is an unbelievable bread. Don't get me wrong, that bread is delicious. <laughs> it's awesome. It's so good. I'm just thinking with this sandwich that we're doing, and we're toasting it with the garlic bread, it might get a little too tough to consume. That's a lot of jaw. Right. It's a lot of jaw. A lot of jaw. <laughs> All right, uh, Jim Serpico, the bread man, TV producer and bread man here with us. Now, what's next? We're going to go into Semolina land. Oh! <laughs> okay. Buckle up, Semolina land! This is the one that yep. you like aesthetically. This is a taste of that loaf. I tell you, a Semolina <laughs> is... This is what kind of I was thinking, a semolina garlic bread. Jim, you want to go run real quick and yeah. go get the other ones? A semolina right, so. garlic bread right. is, is was in my head, but that baguette, I tell you, it's going to be tough. You're going to ask him if he's like uh, related to Serpico or anybody? Because his last name is Serpico. You can ask him. You're the one who's interesting. Kind of interesting. All right, this so what do you think of semolina? This is awesome. Good. This is so good. They opened my mouth and shoved it right in my mouth. Mm -hmm. All right. Sorry. This is see. This I think this might be number two for me right now. That baguette, softer. and this is softer than the artisan baguette, right? But not softer than the original baguette. Semolina. Let me see that baguette. See the baguettes are thin. They're thinner though. But that could definitely. Hmm. This you know, is my leader. It is, and you love that the sesame Jerry. seeds are on the top. Hmm. So I do. What, the, your oh, that leader is, is a, that is good. The semolina. We like yeah. the semolina. Now, what do you have there? You just brought in the longer versions of what? So this is this is the same dough as a baguette. Yes. This is semolina baguette. Okay. Um, that's a semolina baguette. It's a little baguette. thinner. Yeah. Little slice. Now we want a big thick sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. We want. We don't want a very thin situation. Look, right. at, it's a thick boy summer, isn't it? Yes, it certainly is. It's getting thicker by the minute. It's thick boy <laughs> Thursday right now. Yeah. Right. <laughs> now, check out. This is a semolina, too. It's called Malfaldine. Malfaldine, excuse you. All right, I'll just take that from you. Might as well. This is, this is what it looks like. This would be a specialty idea. But that's how big you make them, though? Yes. You can't fit all that stuff that's on that thing, can you? That's not like a hero. That's not like a, that's no, like it, a Again, it's a specialty idea. Right. Hmm. Oh man, that's good. Feels weird in his mouth. <laughs> it's the same type of thing. Very delicious. You know, that would be great for like a smaller sandwich, like a Maybe Italian meat type right. of situation. Absolutely. Yeah. Maybe it's the smaller version of the big hero. Okay. If we go with the same type of bread. Yeah, for sure. Right in his <laughs> mouth. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh. We, got we gotta try. We gotta try three more. Okay. Um, we gotta try three more. Oh my goodness! <laughs> here's uh, here's one that I think is very interesting because it's called Fifty Fifty. This was developed by Joe DeFury at Montreal Bread Company. This is a, like an original. Yeah, this it's, is fifty percent semolina, fifty percent white flour. So now it's a combination of the two breads you liked. How would okay. it like to be identified, this bread? Well, you're going to identify it <laughs> as a they. Okay. All right. As what? A they. A they. Right. Oh, man. Okay. I can tell. Can you, before I eat. Before, Smith, just take a smell of it. I know. But also, do you feel the squeeziness on yes. it? Yes. Yes. The softness? Yes. Oh, Softed. man. I do. Oh. Well, this is a special thing. Are we going to be able to get this to save a sandwich? Every day. So what what does this look like in a bigger version? Do you have that? Uh, I have it. Actually, this is it. That's it. Look at that right there. That's a, that's oh, it. Two cut. Oh. Look at the size. Perfect. Yeah, it's a two cut. Now that's how we know it's a what 50, if you add, What if you added sesame to that? Yeah. Oh. Did you add the sesame seed to that? We can. Absolutely. Like oh, a little no. mixture, like a very specialized. Get here. this all in your mouth right here. 50, 50. Soft, big flavor. Keep Perfect. it in your mouth. Not too chewy. At all. That's the best one right now. Yeah. So that's the leader? I think the 50-50. The 50-50's got the best of both worlds. Yeah. That's why. Everything we liked about the semolina and everything we liked about the baguette is all put together in that one. Jim, hand uh, Gio the 50-50 just so he can see what that feels like. And what does it look like? What do you think? Yeah, I mean, this is... It's, I think it's big enough. I mean, you slice this right down the middle. You stuff everything in there. I think it would be fine. I, I, would, I don't want it breaking at that <clears throat> point. You know, remember it has to be. It has to Putting be toasted. Putting it in your it's mouth. Be, and yeah, no, it has to be toasted. It's toastable. 
It's well, I would what? think so. Yeah, it's bread. You yeah. think yeah. they put some <laughs> sesame seeds on us, or are you? I like, don't think we like need. I don't even like... think we need it. I don't think we need it. Jerry, what do you think? Do you think we need the I sesame seeds? I think it's outstanding. No, I don't actually. Is that the size that it needs to be? I think that's the perfect sandwich size. I do. Perfect. Yeah. What are the, what are, do you have another piece over there? Or what yeah, else we have two got? more. Uh, Jesus. But yeah. hearing what you guys are saying, I think we may have found it already. This is uh, Ciabattini. Oh, Ciabattini. Ciabattini. Uh, Ciabattini. <laughs> All right. Well, this is very airy. It looks like very there's a lot airy. of holes in this Ciabattini. A lot mm. of holy bread here. <laughs> All right. The Ciabattini. Right. This is what they use at uh, St. Patrick's. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? It's <laughs> missing. Yeah, see, right through the hole. All right. <laughs> Mm. Right there. Right there. This is actually some of the most flavorful that we've had. But maybe I just got a little more olive oil on it. Last one's still the best one. The 50-50 is the 50-50. best. 50-50. Oh, okay. And the last taste that we have, okay. this is more of a bun. This is a buttered semolina bun. Oh, wow. Just, just thinking in terms of the garlic bread and toasting. All right. I'll take the end piece. Oh, this is going to be... Amazing you buns. Leave this one for the last one because it's like super it's, it's, buttery. It's a little bit of an outlier. It's much softer. I it's a different kind this. of. I don't see this toasting up well. Do you? So it's very soft. It's a very soft. But this bread. is like the dipping bread of all dipping breads. You squeeze this thing. Look at this. You squeeze yeah. it together. Get that in the olive oil. Soak it up. Yeah. A lot of bread. Very buttery. Very tasty. It almost feels like cake. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, this is not it. No, I don't this think it's it. it. This is do, you have, uh, do you have anything gluten free over there? <laughs> uh, we don't. Maybe yeah, gluten nothing, free. We do nothing, extra gluten. Nothing in the uh, Ezekiel family. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Man, all right. I think it's a 50 50. A 50 yeah, 50? Yeah. Here's the thing Here's... I'm concerned about, though, Jim. So we've got Sable Sandwich now. They've never worked with you guys. Now when we're basically forcing them to buy your bread. Are they going to be. I upset? love that. <laughs> I know, but I mean, we're going to charge well, extra. I mean, well, listen, what we'll do is we'll we'll see how many orders that Rob from Savo would like to take. Yeah. And we'll, we'll do a test. We'll do it like a monthly test run. The nice thing working with a small group like Side Hustle is that you could do that. You can, you know, you don't have to worry about, you know, interrupting some sort of supply chain. No, no. You know, no, yeah. you never know that, who's got that again, area. Yeah, that's true. Montreal handles these delis all the time, too. You know, we start off, it could be a good relationship. Uh, Rob from Sable, we have his number. You texted it to me. Look back in your... Oh, yeah. He's the Sable sandwich guy. Get him on the phone. Make sure, because I don't want to say yes to this, and then all of a sudden these guys aren't working in concert. And then Initially, what it was was for us to taste taste us the bread. To but I want that bread. Yeah, we want this thing. That 50-50 is the way to go. I mean, my goodness, <laughs> think about that thing. That's not your like regular Italian hero loaf. I mean, that's like off the charts. And people will be coming from all over the place to have that sandwich and that bread. You could bread. be creating quite a problem in Sable. Well, that's the thing. That's why I don't want to do. I don't want to do that. Now, if people want to have this bread or get this bread, uh, Jim, where are they going to go to get your bread? So if you want it delivered to your home, you go to uh, Facebook or Instagram, at Side Hustle Bread. Okay. Uh, if you're looking for it at your restaurant, uh, deli, or market, you go to at Monreal Bread. How do you spell that? M O N R E A L E. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're pretty much the largest bread supplier in the area, I believe. Correct. Okay. All right. Very good. I got to have some of that prosciutto bread as well. Yeah. Can you cut some of that up? Absolutely. Right. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't have to cut it up. He's got it in little um, prosciutto bites. bites. Oh, nice. We, make, we are the inventor of the prosciutto bite. <laughs> oh, my goodness. All right. Yeah, let's do something. He's not there. He didn't pick up. All right. He's running from of this because you know, you know that there's some sort of. Oh, it's going to be mob. a mob bread war. Yeah, oh, I know. I, that's what I, I didn't want to so. create. I don't think that exists. You don't think that's going to no. exist? No, no, never no, heard of it. No, if he's working with Montreal, it's, it's fine. Okay. All right. Just make it sure. Just make it sure. See that uh, 11 pounds you lost? You just gained it right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I basically said to myself, this is going to be my breakfast. All right, perfect. And, so and I, I haven't had anything quite like this over the last eight days. But, so you're okay. You know, Man, that tasted good. That was great. Sounded like a great idea. 50 50. That 50 50 is the one. I think so. Oh, my goodness. All right, and that's going to toast up well. Beautiful. It's going to be, do you, if you're putting meats on that uh, 50 50 bread, you think the roast beef would be a good meat to put on that? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Anything that we said, because you're the expert here, anything that we said or experienced you disagree with? Um,. No, I think the 50 50 is a great choice. Right. I really do. When you brought all these breads in, what did you think we were going to pick? I thought it would be the 50 50 or the semolina. All right. All right. 
Yeah. They were right My on two track. Favorites. The Semolino was good. It was. Yeah. They were all great. They were all great. Well, the good news is, is he brought enough for all of you to take about 20 <laughs> loaves home. <laughs> I know, which is going to be tremendous. Nice. Uh, I can't wait for that prosciutto. i got to have some of that right now to finish this off. Did you right. shove delicious meats down your throat? <laughs> <laughs> Jim can't hear what we're laughing to. Yeah, uh, by the way, any uh, relationship to uh, the real Serpico? Uh, no. None. My uncles were cops at the same time, and it, it made their life very difficult. Oh, okay. geez. Yeah. I know that whole deal. There yeah. was a guy with the same last name as me living in Bellport. A little bit of a strange character. Mm, People yeah. are is that your brother? I said, nope. <laughs> They're like, good, because he just flashed me at the Chase ATM <laughs> vestibule. <laughs> 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 He's wearing a <laughs> trench coat. <laughs> uh, all right, Jim. Okay. Listen, very good, man. I, I wish you the best. This is this is great. You got to stay in touch. I would love to. And then if you ever do that bread pilot, we want to be a part of this thing. Oh, you got it. You'll be the first call. <laughs> all right, very good, Jim. All right, Thanks, Jim, guys. Jim bread Serpico wars. of Side Hustle Bread. Go right. check him out. That was great. That was that was like the best breakfast I've ever had. Bread wars on HGTV. Oh yeah, mob bread wars. Yes. They're coming. This <laughs> is my territory. Don't you try to take my semolina out of Samuel? <laughs> what if I do with you? <laughs> if your business needs a commercial van, visit Mercedes-Benz Sprinter.